which are called describe and in this video I'm going to teach you how to use describe to reverse engineer the prompt of an image given an input image describe is going to give us the prompt that we have used to create that image it is not going to be 100% accurate but it is going to help you with the right prompt that you should start with because that is where everything begins for example let's say you saw this image on Twitter so this is from a very popular Twitter account Nick Nick shares a lot of beautiful images from mid journey and also a lot of tips so if you're not following Nick you should probably give a follow right now so if you have seen a nice image like this and you know that this is a mid journey generated image but you do not know how to use it not everybody goes to alt text and then looks for the prompt so if you have missed this and if you want to generate an image like this I'm going to show you how to do that it's quite simple right click the image first save the image the first step is save the image give a nice meaningful name in this case let's say mid journey 5 new zero new a new after you have successfully saved the image the next thing that you need to do is go to your mid journey discord server and go to any of the channels so you can go to any of the channels and you can start trying to describe that so go there and then slash describe so the first thing you need to do is slash describe once you do slash describe click and you have to upload the image you're going to get an option to drag and drop or upload the image then you can upload the image now press enter the moment you press enter mid journey is going to come up with four different prompts that are quite possibly related to the image that we just uploaded so it's going to come up with a solution and then say what could be those prompts that helped you or helped somebody in creating these images the first prompt image of a woman in a dress even before that I think I want to first show you this prompt let's look at the prompt 1960 street style photo of a young woman Latina dire silks diamonds dress white short natural lighting Soho shot on the Agfa Vista 204k aspect ratio 16 by 19 sorry 9 and the seed 16 22 22 this is the original prompt that has been used to create this image so now if we have to compare this with whatever we have got image of a woman dressed in 19 uh, sorry looking down at streets in style of post 1970s ego generation strong facial expression and you have got some references to it which you can also generate this is another good thing like you can actually click this link and it's going to take you to google and then show you what does it even mean like what does artist this particular artist what is a particular style that talks about here like Ernest Haas click that it's going to take you outside and then show you the description about what is that so you can see all the four prompts here so prompt one prompt 2, prompt 3 and prompt 4 and in fact the thing that I actually like this in all the prompts you have got aspect ratio aspect ratio and in some places you have got the lens detail as well so if you see the input image the if you see the input image that we used so you can see also shot on and the detail is there and in this also the shot on detail is there the Hasselblad or some some shot like camera detail now what you can do is if you want to use one of these prompts and generate an image you can all you have to do is go and click the right number for example if I find the second image actually good so I can click to and it is going to now ask mid generate mid journey bot to generate this image so it's going to use that as a prompt and then it's going to start a new image generation and that's going to start creating the image for the given prompt that we have given just now so let's wait for it to generate the prompt or the image that we just asked it to do it um, meanwhile let's go pick one more image just to just to demonstrate I'm going to go to Nick's thread and then I'm going to pick one more image because Nick is quite amazing um, in the way Nick's threads are so I don't Okay, I can use this image. I hopefully, I don't get banned on uh, Mid Journey for using any image. So, Asian MJ. So, I'm going to just keep it Asian MJ. I'm going to go back to Mid Journey 
and I'm going to see my notification. Okay, so I have got the image. So the image that we got is this. It's, uh, it's still getting generated. So the image that we asked Midjourney to generate is actually this. It's not exactly the same, but you can see the similarities in the image that we gave as an input image and what Midjourney has generated. I'm going to go do the same thing again, slash describe and enter, drag and drop and then enter. So now Midjourney has got this image, input image and Midjourney is actually thinking at this point and it is going to come up with an answer. Okay, a woman in a golden dress laying on top of velvet couch. Cool. So we have the first one and then we have the second one. We have the third one and we have the fourth one. And I actually like the fourth one. So I'm going to go ahead and then click the fourth one. And then this is going to tell me that it's going to submit it. Cool. Fine mid journey. You can submit it. Once it submits, we just have to wait for a few minutes or seconds depending upon what is the mid journey plan that you are on I'm on the paid plan so once you have that ready then the next thing that you need to do is you need to look forward for that image so it's actually generating the image the good thing like I said is it gives the aspect ratio and all the existing details whatever it can add if you are familiar with stable diffusion very popular UI called auto 1111 Auto 1111 has got a feature called PNG where you can upload a stable diffusion image and it can generate an image for you or it can actually give you a prompt based on which the image is generated. So this, I kind of relate this to that. There are a lot of other services like clip, uh, clip inspector and, um, you know, the other services that can take image and give, but I actually like the one that mid journey has uh, released. This almost looks the most perfect prompt generator for a, for a mid journey image. So once again, like I said, it's not exactly the same, but it can actually take you closer to the image that you saw and based on what you already saw, you can, you can actually, you know, start playing with the image and then change the prompt accordingly so that you can generate the image that is closer to what you saw on the internet. I hope this was helpful to you in learning how to use mid journeys very new feature called describe to reverse engineer the image and get the prompt back so that you can have a lot of mid journey experiments when you follow people online on the internet. If you have any other question or any other mid journey tip, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.